Hello, and welcome back to I Have a Star Wars Problem, in addition to all my other problems. Um, so, we collect lightsabers, and uh, we have every single, up to right now, uh, Disney Legacy lightsaber, but Hasbro has come out with their Darth, Darth, what, what is it? Black Series. Their Black Series lightsabers. I don't know why they had to give it some sort of special name. Can't just call it Hasbro. Something. I give it what Dark Series name. Well, they're only going to do bad guys. Ooh, spooky. All right, anyway. Already spent a minute talking about useless things. So, let's get to business. I have one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite Star Wars character. Let me just shake the table some more so you know how big of a fan I am of this character. So this Darth series um, Hasbro lightsaber came out a while ago, and by a while ago, I think like a year and a half ago to the state. And I ordered it, I was so excited because Disney hasn't made one yet. And as of right now, Disney has it. So, you know, when, Disney has, I'll have, and then I'll have two, and we'll be good. It is Palpatine's. So, I do not have the original box to show you, but it came in like, this like tube, triangular box, and um, it was okay. It was an okay box, um, but like, I get a stand with Hasbro. Uh, they gave me one. Disney, you have to buy one, but I got a really cool stand, and like, it's like freaking heavy duty stand. And like, you could put the like screws in here, and like maybe hang it on the wall or something. But we just hang it on my bookshelf or not bookshelf, but um, it sits on the bookshelf. So. These are different. These are a little bit more um, DIY friendly. So it's not like you just plop in the blade, twist it, and then you're off and ready to go. Um, but I will show you this inappropriate looking <laughs> lightsaber that I love. And it only has one sticker on it right here. Not like Disney where it's loaded. So, it does have activating buttons on both sides. So, a red button right here that moves and a green button right here. Um, just a nut on the bottom. Um, your little thing. A whining dog in the corner. And here is what your emitter looks like. Just, just a tiny hole, just a tiny little finger hole. So how you put your blade in is you gotta take this top off. And you can't put anything in that tiny little finger hole. They give you another finger hole. So what you need to do, make sure there's nothing inside your finger hole, and you gotta put your blade in. They, they provide you for it with a blade. So. I don't remember how much this was, but it was around the same price as normal Disney. So like 150 bucks, 170 bucks. Throwing the number out there. Don't quote me, because stuff changes in price. So you, for the same price as a Disney lightsaber, you get a really cool looking lightsaber. You get, you know, basically a showpiece emitter. And then a, I don't know, play emitter? Uh, and then a stand. And a blade. You get all these things. So cool. So, the only thing is putting the blades on, on are a little bit of a hassle. They like to stick. So you really have to like, mm, it in there. Or, mm, it out. So, then, you have to thread the needle 
and then screw it back in. Now this is just this blade. We have another blade, or another blade, another um, saber, and it's a little bit different. So, this is it. Um, this Palpatine saber is very high polished, so I try to keep it as shiny as possible with a microfiber towel. Um, but yeah. Oh, I burned my hand. So here it is. And then, it's, it's pretty cool. So. It's like someone's hitting me. Pretty cool. Let's see if I can get that in like the whole frame for you. So on and off button is the green one. And the red one is like the battle button. So I'm pressing that one. So right now I'm holding down that red button. So it's like, it's like our strings are touching. Lilu. So. You ready? So pretty cool. So not only are you paying the same price or like around the same price as Disney, but you're getting a, more stuff with some more effects. So, to do it this hand. There it goes. Now, if I put this guy on, you can just use that hole, but it doesn't fit. So you have to really put the blade in first. So yeah, it is. Palpatine's lightsaber. I'm gonna put this one back on for you guys. Such a beautiful design. I think it looks like something else, but it is my one of my favorite characters. Favorite. It's my favorite Jedi character, other than uh, Qui Gon. Um, you know, I have a dark favorite and a light favorite, and then I have a neutral favorite. <laughs> Um, so he is definitely my favorite. I'm glad I have him. And I know that this is, this is my eye itches. I'm sorry, but you get to watch me itch my eye. Um, I know this is done very well and I'm very happy with it. Um, it came with an Allen wrench to, now this one itches, um, to, um, take the batteries out. The batteries are done right here, um, which is nice because you don't have to like unscrew it and then the batteries like fall out everywhere. So I display it just like this because I don't take I don't take my stickers off. I leave them on because I'm I'm weird. And then I just put my extra right down below. And it's just like that. That's how I display it my lovely lightsaber and I love it this is like I think my favorite besides the temple guard this is my favorite lightsaber yeah thank you you guys so much for watching and putting up with my dog um let me know who's your favorite light character dark character or neutral character I'll tell you mine Palpatine Qui-Gon and if you didn't know already Charge your pinks. Um, so tell me or give me shit down below for George Binks. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.